in the caverns beneath the earth, all turn mad. For time untold, I had drifted, dead and alone. But now I watched as a mortal man once again trod the forgotten halls, living flesh that must be broken. I took possession of black mechanisms and cruel traps sprung at my command, and where the floor was etched with arcane symbols, I could rise for a time as the creatures of the old gods. I summoned beasts of the earth and long dead things with tentacles and blades. I wore them for skin and possessed their minds and flung them at this man. Again and again he cut me down and I was tickled to see a trace of hope in his eyes. Did he think it was just me down here? The others flanked with hooked teeth and claws and bled him of his faith. He was soon to die, this puppet of flesh. But who would deliver the killing blow? If I slay him, I will take his place and be reborn human again. And by my hand he fell. Humanity poured from his corpse and filled me to the brim. It flashed arcs and beams of power and flared my flesh reborn. Reborn. The dark gods were pleased with the living blood I had spilt and rewarded me with riches. Taking these, I traded with the stranger for weapons, tinctures, and powerful magics. With, with new vicious tools, I butchered beast after beast, growing ever stronger. But the monsters grew also, and I could seldom hold mortal life for long. Be beasts were shredded underfoot as we fought for our prize. That one fading spark of humanity, we seized it, we lost it, or we took it and we fled. For life alone held deliverance. And stealing that prize, I fed a hail of blades and teeth and flame to a room most strange and otherworldly. The Eldritch Stone split a ragged hole in the air, a gateway to the real world above, and freedom. If you dare face the horror behind.